and the greatest arrogance of all, save the planet. What? Are these people kidding me? <laughs> save the planet? We don't even know how to take care of ourselves yet. Right. We haven't learned how to care for one another. We're going to save the f***ing planet? <laughs> <laughs> for whatever reason, I remember they're like, don't throw plastic bags in the water because sea turtles are going to think it's jellyfish, you're going to eat them and die. And I think I'm so old, they just are, well, we went out to the boat, there's so much <laughs> out in the ocean. <laughs> Who the hell wants to eat a jellyfish anyway? What's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Billy Collins. Matt, do 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 and this is Magician. And the Jock. And we are reacting to... George Carlin, Saving the Planet. Saving the Planet. George Carlin. Legend, I guess, in comedy. He's one of those kind of known as like an intellectual comic, I guess. I always, yeah. He's, I've always thought of him as really angry. He was kind of angry. When I was a kid, my dad used to have the albums mm -hmm. of George Carlin, and he would just play them in the background. He's best known for the seven words you can't say on TV. That's what he kind of came up. I can't remember can't the seven words. I was a little child when my dad yeah, let me I listen think I've to heard it. Of, but maybe it's because that was when comedy was really good. Yeah. I mean, that's what he said. There are a lot more than seven <laughs> words you can't say now. Yeah. See, I'm not one of these people who's worried about everything. You got people like this around you. Country's full of them now. People walking around all day long, every minute of the day, worried about everything. Worried about the air, worried about the water, worried about the soil. Worried about insecticides, pesticides, food additives, carcinogens. Worried about radon gas, worried about asbestos. Worried about saving endangered species. Let me tell you about endangered species, all right? Saving endangered species is just one more arrogant attempt by humans to control nature. It's arrogant meddling. It's what got us in trouble in the first place. Doesn't anybody understand that? Interfering with nature. Over 90%, over, way over, 90% of all the species that have ever lived on this planet, ever lived, are gone. Whoosh. They're extinct. That's true. We didn't kill them all. <laughs> they just disappeared. That's what nature does. Mm. They disappear these days at the rate of 25 a day. And I mean regardless of our, our behavior. Irrespective of how we act on this planet, 25 species... It's like raising my blood pressure like how fast he's going. Yeah, no, he's he's all very and I, at it. I realize I'm wearing the exact same outfit as him right now. <laughs> what, what do you think about the bald ponytail? I don't think I'll be rocking that. That is. I, uh, that, I, even I'm balding. I don't think I can pull that, that off. That is holding on. He's almost at skullet. <laughs> he a bald has mullet. A skull. <laughs> <laughs> but so, so far, he's sounding pretty good. I had to check to see if, I mean, well, yeah. if, the, if the video was sped up. And I mean, regardless of our, our behavior, irrespective of how we act on this planet, 25 species that were here today will be gone tomorrow. Let them go gracefully. <laughs> Leave nature alone. Haven't we done enough? We're so self-important. So self-important. Everybody's going to save something now. Mm. Save the trees, save the bees, save the whales, save those snails. <laughs> and the greatest arrogance of all, save the planet. What? Are these fucking people kidding me? <laughs> save the planet? We don't even know how to take care of ourselves yet. Right. We haven't learned how to care for one another. We're going to save the fucking planet? <laughs> I'll get tired of that shit. Tired of that shit. I'm tired of fucking Earth Day. I'm tired of these self-righteous environmentalists, these white bourgeois liberals who think mm. the only thing wrong with this country is there aren't enough bicycle paths. <laughs> People trying to make the world safe for their Volvos. Besides, environmentalists don't give a shit about the planet. They mm. don't care about the planet. Not in the abstract, they don't. Not in the abstract, they don't. You know what they're interested in? A clean place to live. Mm. Their own habitat. They're worried that someday in the future... It's crazy. If he was doing this today, he would get booed off the... Oh, like, my they, God. They, would pro they wouldn't let him on college campuses. No, it'd be ridiculous how just they would be treating him with this woke nation that we're in. Like So far, it's just kind of having a conversation. Yeah. It's not really as much comedy as it's like kind a, of bringing awareness. Yeah. It's like kind of your, your angry uncle. And it's like <laughs> it goes on a rampage because <laughs> yeah. the turkey's too cold. <laughs> their own habitat. They're worried that someday in the future they might be personally inconvenienced. Narrow, unenlightened self-interest doesn't impress me. Besides, there is nothing wrong with the planet. Nothing wrong with the planet. The planet is fine. The people are fucked. 
difference, difference. The planet is fine. Compared to the people, the planet is doing great. It's been here four and a half billion years. Do you ever think about the arithmetic? Planet has been here four and a half billion years. We've been here, what, 100,000, maybe 200,000? And we've only been engaged in heavy industry. I've heard anywhere from millions to 2,000 yeah, to 10,000. It's all You have to go look at Cro-Magnon, I guess, and see where the evolution begins. All I know begins. is you, you cut a tree and see how many rings are on it. That's yeah. the only thing I remember. Maybe 200,000. And we've only been engaged in heavy industry for a little over 200 years. 200 years versus four and a half billion. And we have the conceit so to think mm -hmm. that somehow we're a threat. That somehow we're going to put in jeopardy this beautiful little blue-green ball that's just a floating around the sun. The planet has been through a lot worse than us. Been through mm -hmm. all kinds of things worse than us. Been through earthquakes, volcanoes, plate tectonics, continental drift, solar flares, sunspots, magnetic storms, the magnetic reversal of the poles, hundreds of thousands of years of bombardment by comets and asteroids and meteors, worldwide floods, tidal waves, worldwide fires, erosion, cosmic rays, recurring ice ages, and we think Is this some be plastic a bags <laughs> and some aluminum cans are going to make <laughs> <rid> of plastic <laughs> straw. <laughs> 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 God, a fucking plastic bag. It's like the, it's, it's, it's the equivalent of someone's like, I'm trying to eat healthy. So they order three Big Macs, big fries, <laughs> sugar, and they're like, let me get a Diet, Diet Coke. Coke. I've never really sat down. I, I mean, this isn't incredibly funny. Is the, he just spouted out all those things that the earth has been through, and then we're worried about a fucking tra you know, plastic bag or a straw. There is a lot of virtue signaling. No there. one would give a shit about the straws unless that one turtle was doing, you know, stopped doing cocaine. That's true. With a straw up his nose. <laughs> that is true. I mean, no one would give a shit about the plastic straws. I remember like science class, they would, um, for whatever reason, I remember they're like, don't throw plastic bags in the water because sea turtles are going to think it's jellyfish, you're going to eat them and die. That's the only thing I remember. Yeah. And, um, and I think I'm so old. They just are. Well, we went out to boats. There's there's so much shit out in the ocean. <laughs> Who the hell wants to eat a jellyfish, anyways? The planet. The planet isn't going anywhere. God, what a hair stuff. We are. We're going away. Mm. Pack your shit, folks. We're going away. And we won't leave much of a trace either. Thank God for that. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little styrofoam. Maybe. A little styrofoam. Planet will be here and we'll be long gone. Just another failed mutation. Just another closed end biological mistake. An evolutionary cul de sac. I don't believe that. The planet but... will shake us off like a bad case of fleas. A surface nuisance. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder how the planet's doing? Ask those people at Pompeii who are frozen into position. Crazy. From volcanic ash. <laughs> Crazy. How the doing? I know if the planet's all right, ask those people in Mexico City or Armenia or a hundred other places buried under thousands of tons of earthquake rubble if they feel like a threat <laughs> to the planet this week. How about those people in Kilauea, Hawaii, who build their homes right next to an active volcano mm. and then wonder why they have lava in the living room? <laughs> the planet will be here for a long, long, long time after we're gone, and it will heal itself, it will cleanse itself, because that's what it does. Mm -hmm. It's a self-correcting system. The air and the water will recover, the earth will be renewed, and if it's true that plastic is not degradable, well, the planet will simply incorporate plastic into a new paradigm, the earth plus plastic. <laughs> the earth doesn't share our prejudice towards plastic. Mm. Plastic came out of the earth. The earth probably sees plastic as just another one of its children. Right. Could be the only reason the earth allowed us to be spawned from it in the yeah. first place. It wanted plastic for itself. <laughs> Didn't know how to make it needed us could be the answer to our age-old philosophical question why are we here <laughs> plastic <laughs> so so the plastic is here our job is done we can be phased out mm -hmm. now and i think that's really started already don't you i mean to be fair the planet probably sees us as a mild threat something to be dealt with 
then I'm sure the planet will defend itself in, in, in the uh, manner of a large organism, like a beehive or an ant colony can muster a defense. I'm sure the planet will think of something. What would you do if you were the planet trying to defend against this pesky, troublesome species? Let's see what might... Hmm, viruses. Viruses might be good. Mm. They seem vulnerable to viruses. And uh, viruses are tricky, always mutating and forming new strains whenever a vaccine is developed. Mm. Perhaps this first virus could be one that, that compromises the immune system of these creatures. Perhaps a human immunodeficiency uh, virus making them vulnerable to all sorts of other diseases and infections that might come along. And maybe it could be spread sexually, making them a little reluctant to engage in the act of reproduction. Mm. Well, that's a poetic note. And it's a start. And I can dream, can I? See, I don't worry about the little things. Bees, trees, whales, snails. I think we're part of a greater wisdom than we will ever understand. Mm -hmm. A higher order. Call it what you want. You know what I call it? The big electron. <laughs> the big electron. Whoa. 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 It doesn't punish. It doesn't judge at all. It just is. And so are we. For a little while. Thanks for being here with me for a little while tonight. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. What? <laughs> Thoughts? Electrons. I thought it was good. I told you before we filmed this video, Norm MacDonald talks about, he's talking about good comedians. Yeah. And he was saying, like, I think George Carlin has a funny way of thinking, not, he's not necessarily funny per se yeah you, you get what i'm saying like his delivery yeah he didn't he, really let any of those sit and cook on the other side of that i will start thinking about what he was saying on the way home it makes a lot of Go, sense. yeah it does and i don't know if he's i always thought he was more of a liberal liberal side not really getting into politics but his views that but, was my perception too yeah but now i think about it i think he's like a, more of a common sense is what we're kind of all looking for now trying to well, lib me. a liberal back in the 80s and 90s is considered a far-right activist now. Right. Just how, how yeah. far the uh, right. pendulum has swung. But, yeah, I think it sounded almost more like a, like a college professor talking. Yeah, to his. Like, like an like a introduction class, first day of class, going at it. Yeah, like I said, wasn't, wasn't funny, but it was very knowledgeable. Yeah, very intelligent. Yeah, so, I mean, so. what, do you, what do you guys think? Leave us a comment down below. If anybody's still awake. And didn't I mean, really I hope you guys laugh. are taking notes. <laughs> this is me a pop quiz. Pop quiz. Uh, also, do us a huge favor. Subscribe to the channel. Smash the like button. And we'll see you on the next video. Peace. Yeah, I liked it. I liked it, too. It's just I'm like, different. It's like a lecture, almost. Yeah. Where he's like, oh, shit, I got to be funny. Yeah. <laughs>